Do you want to know how you can get the most bang for your buck right now when buying a house? I am here to show you the perfect opportunity for home buyers. My name is Karen Jackson with John L. Scott Real Estate, and I help home buyers and home sellers in the Seattle, Washington area. So what is the best opportunity for a home buyer today? This info came from Barry Habib. I want to make sure to give him credit. Let me share a scenario with you. Let's say you are wanting to purchase a 500,000 home today in the Seattle area. The market is a bit slow. It always is a little slower this time of year, but the rise in interest rates has made it even slower. We are back to normal negotiations. Homes are sitting on the market longer and there is not usually multiple offers for a home. So in most cases, you can negotiate the price down. So let's say you negotiated just 2% off the price. That would be $10,000. But instead of asking for the money off the price, you ask for the seller to pay $10,000 towards your closing costs. You can use this money to do a 2-1 buy down. The 2-1 buy down would cost you $9,323. Plus you can use the other $677 towards your closing costs. By doing this, it would reduce your interest rate 2% for the first year and 1% for the second year. Or you could ask for 2.5% towards your closing costs and do a permanent buy down. According to Barry's predictions, interest rates should be close to the 5% range next year. Put a comment below if you would like to view his video that explains this. I would be happy to send it over to you. If he is correct, which he often is, then you can refinance to the new rate. In the meantime, you are saving $500 a month in interest and you are getting a home at the lower market price. If you are able to refinance next year, you would get credited back for the portion of the buy down that you did not use. This will help pay for your refinance costs. Although there are some lenders coming out with specials where they are not charging for refinances in the next five years. Your other option would be to wait until rates go down, but we are still very low on inventory. In October, our months of supply of inventory is 1.2 in the King County real estate market and Seattle real estate market. A normal market is four to six months of inventory. If rates drop significantly, you might find yourself competing in a crazy market again. That means multiple offers, paying above listing price, and a lot of stress and emotional upset. So let's say because of multiple offers, you have to bid $50,000 above list price. That means your home will cost you $550,000. Your payment will be $200 more a month for that extra $50,000. And you will be paying $50,000 more for the house. That is a very large cost of waiting. Give me a call if you would like to discuss the best strategy for you.